Hi everyone, welcome to Don't Be Serious. Today's video is part 3 of all characters of Black Myth Wukong. Monster Song Snow, Should They Sue You? Wise of the Xiaolian Temple, Frozen Guys in the Snow, Minions of the Ma Hao Zheng. One was awakened by the frivolous boss. Being defeated, they will take a final attack to cause you damage before finally falling to the ground, which is quite disgusting. In the 2021 trailer, this one had double horns, but the model was changed in the demo. Red Bar Macaque, Chen Hao Ma Hao. The Red Bar Macaque, or Macaque Chief. According to Journey to the West Chapter 3, two Red Bar Macaques were assigned as Marshals of the Flower Fruit Mountain by Sun Wukong. Now the game is over a thousand years after that. Not sure if this one is descendant to the Marshal, or maybe it's just the same kind. A slick troublemaker who will ridicule you with a fart, and will fake this surrender just so he can sucker punch you. The wink form is his second stage. Attacks and movements are significantly increased at this stage. Sarcoma man, Yok Lao Yan. This pure having a large coma with many eyes on his back, attacks through the eyes, could also be his witness. Tongue things, si shan si. Literally means a tongue which tastes and thinks. An enormous black bear looking monster with a ridiculously long scary red tongue. It really lives up to his name, tongue, taste and think. The Wailing Man, Sun Bun Yao. Sun Bun Yao, it literally means the body itself is warrior. A small monster on the chest can be separated from the main body. I guess the image clearly explains how he earned his name. This guy reminds me of Total Recall. The old man might play cool to crowd a judge with his gentle looking face. When you let the guard down, you may release his chest monsters to strike as the little guy looks way more fierce. Land Elf of Shaolin Yin Temple, Xiu Sai Tin Tao Dei. A tricky looking Land Elf, his voice emits a sense of hypocritical politeness, and the way he talks gives me the impression of a treacherous official. Kang Jin Long. Kong Dum Long. It is the 28 star celestial with a humanoid picture. 28 stars are 28 celestial officers selected by the Asian Chinese astronomers as beacons to observe the movements of the sun, moon, and the five planets. They were evenly divided into four groups, each containing seven star officers, corresponding to the four cardinal directions of east, west, south, and north as well as the four auspicious pieces of China. Qianglong, Azhalong, Da Fu, White Tiger, Zhu Zhe, One Million Bird, Yuan Mou, Sun Wu. Hong Gamlong is one of the seven celestial star officers of Qianglong. According to Taoism, Hong Gamlong as a god, his duty include the disasters of mankind, strong wings, flying stones, herbs, national preceptors, officers of all divisions. Wing Warrior, Yi Zhang, the Winged Warrior, one of the four warriors, nameless. In peacetime, they would pose in the Xiaolin Temple as stone statues, and would quickly wake up and fight when enemies are near. This gold plate form was revealed in new trailer 2024. Body Tree Warrior, Po Tai Shu Zhang. The Body Tree Warrior, one of another four warriors, the other two warriors remain unknown. In the original Journey to the West story, these four warriors are part of Steve Rose, who helps Sun Wukong fight the evil king, Yellow Eyebrow. In the game's context, for some reason, they have turned evil and sided with the evil king, Yellow Eyebrow. Notice that the song sings Si Zhou as the wind warrior slowly descends. Si Zhou refers to the four continents in the Buddhist war realm. Interestingly, the same pronunciation, Si Zhou, is also Si Zhou a real place located in Huayan City, Jiangsu Province, China, in which the four warriors are arrested. I wonder whether to be an option to awaken their blindness within without killing them, pull them back from the dark side and be our ally again. Incense attendant beast, Si Heng Sao. There is a unique round ball in the center of this front end. This ball is obviously a long pattern incense ball from the Ming and Qing dynasty in China. This exquisitely carved long pattern ball is intended to be used as aromatherapy, placed in the room to enhance fragrance and rebel mosquitoes. 
Dow Jones also uses this low pattern incense pour in the solemn ceremonial occasions. Its name, Shi Xiang, refers to the person who lights incense in the Dao Jones rituals. Hence the name of Zi Hang Sao, the incense attendant beast. In real life, the incense pour can be opened and contain spice. From this point of view, the big incense pour in the game may contain some sort of valuable extra. The destined one may want to defeat it and open it to obtain whatever is inside. Buddha, Fatto. One armed, four blue legs, and knees made of beast faces. Looks like some sort of crazy battle has been through. General Shi, Sai Zhongguan. Long sword and menacing sharp nails. Better keep distance from him. The bad man, Wai Zhang Yan. The monk with his hands behind his back. Based on the background, it looks like he's an enemy from Yellow Wind Ridge. There's a white model in Black Myth and other official video. The Myra statues, Dum Gong Zhang. Among the Raja statues, only one Raja statue has original painting. The Huang Mei Ba scene has two other Raja statues. The demonic elephant, Mo Zhang. A two-legged walking demon with a disproportionately evil elephant head. Looks like its attacking method is blood-related. White Tiger the Swordsman, Bak Fu Do Ha. White Tiger the Broad Swordsman, carrying an intimidating broadsword. The White Tiger Guai surely know how to make an engine. Small axe hung to his thigh was revealed as he spoke. His full body armor with cape indicates that he is at least a captain level opponent instead of some brainless monster of blood. The Black Long, Siu Lek Long. In general to the west, Siu Lek Long is one of the nine sons of the Qing River Long King. The Long King has nine sons, and Siu Lek Long is one of them. His sibling, Red Bear Long, appeared in another trailer. As we can see, the big guy is using a pair of hammers that splashes lightning when hits the ground. This fantasy weapon is Lui Gu Ngong Gam Choi, the drum beating urn golden hammer, weights 320 pounds. The hammers appear in many famous Chinese novels about heroes and martyrs. They are generally the weapons of the strongest top-level generals. Apart from the hammers, he has a sword as a side weapon on his waist. Tuo Long or Green Decker Long, Tuo Long, Ching Bui Long, Tuo Long or Ching Bui Long. The true identity of this long monster who got the destined one in his jaw remains unknown. I suspect him to be Tuo Long or the Green Back Long. Both are also two of the nine sons of the Jing River Long King. Long in white robe, Bapo Long. The long priest in white robe. Character yet to know his name. Holds a Yu Yi in his hands. Yu Yi is a traditional Chinese handicraft treasure. Its appearance is similar to Ganoderma Lustum. It is usually made of jade or gold and symbolizes everything goes as you wish. The Monkey King stick, Yu Yi Gam Ku Huang means as you wish go band cudgel. Monks and Taoists also use a Yu Yi when they preach. Judging from the artifact and the garment he wears, the long person may be a harmless Taoist. The ornament hanging on his chest may be a symbol of his sect. Lan Cai Lan Cai Lan Cai, a new die fighter. Mentioned in my speculation video which talks about his possible identities, that he is the great diviner Yun Sao Seng, or the immortal Lam Choi Wu, or maybe the Green Back Long, son of the Jing River Long King. Check out this video for full explanation. And this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Also, check out my part 1 and part 2 of all characters of Zambi Kong. Until next time, I'll see you in part 4. Thank you for watching to the end. If you like it, please also check out my special shop. Don't be serious with gallery. Dog my shop.com where you can find all kinds of Sun Wukong t-shirt, coffee mugs, and many other interesting content.